Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome to the Hotel Room Series Upper Body. For today's workout, all you will need is an elevation of some kind. You don't need to use one if you don't have one in your hotel room, but if you do, make sure it's sturdy so you can put all your body weight on there. We'll also be using a Pilates band, which is light enough for anyone to pack in their luggage. A really great tool to burn out the smaller muscle groups. We won't need that for the first exercise, so you can put that to the side. 15 rounds of 50 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. When I press start, we'll have five seconds for me to show you the first exercise and then we'll flow all the way through. There's not a designated warm up as such, but the first exercise is push ups, so it's kind of like a warm up. Okay, are you ready? Pressing start. Getting into a push up position, I like to have a wide push up. Tuck your hips. We're going to go from wide, then walk our hands in and do triceps. If you can't do any of these on your toes, you can do them on your knees, okay? So slow and controlled, it's wide. If your support is not an actual width like mine, you can just do regular push-ups, you don't need to do them wide, okay? Chest to the support each time, if you can, 23 seconds. Elevating push-ups like this is actually easier than doing them on the ground. So you should be able to do full push-ups on your toes here. 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing. <sighs> Breathe out on the exertion. All the way down. Three, two, one. Nice job. Grab your band. Bunch it up in one hand. We're going to do a plank. Okay, if you can on your toes, make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to go forward and side. Forward and side. So you're putting all your weight on your feet and that supporting hand. You're trying to keep your hips parallel to the floor. They're probably going to turn out slightly, that's okay. You're trying to tuck your hips under and keep your butt down, but it's not always going to be easy. So we're going to try. If you need to do this on your knees, you can do it like this, but really, it's a little bit too easy on your knees. So if you're gonna do it on your knees, you're better off doing it on the floor than with your hand elevated. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep breathing, two and one. Nice job. Come onto your knees, your elbows on the support and you walk yourself out like a side plank. Hold onto that band and we're just gonna come out like this for four. Ready? It's one, two, three, Four, then punch forward, side, forward, side. Again, one, two, three, four. Forward, side, forward, side. Make sure you're pushing out of this shoulder, you're not slouching. And punch deliberately as if you're punching something. One, two, three, four. Forward, side, forward, side. You need to gauge your tension here. If it's not enough, you're not going to feel that arm burning by the end of the 50 seconds. Two, three, four, punch, side, 10 seconds, you can do it. Two, three, four, forward, side, forward, side, keep going, tummies are in, two, and one, nice job. Now kneel on your band, I want you to hinge forward, you can just kneel on one side, really tight, small grip here, and we're gonna row up. So you need to bunch up that band and come in really close. You can put the other hand on your support there. I want a flat back and I want you to row your hand up and to the side, okay? So it's not directly behind like a normal back row. It's just up, up. Back is a large muscle group. So I really want you to focus on squeezing those shoulder blades at the top and choking up on that band. If you want to, you can even double up on the band. Keeping in mind though, we've still got quite a few exercises to go. 10 seconds, row all the way up. Keep going, keep pushing. Four, three, two, one, nice job. You can kneel on that band again. This time we're going to do just with one arm, punches across and side. Ready? Cross, side, cross, side. Now rotate to the side for four. Front, side, front, side. Rotate out. Three, 
four, forward side, forward side, one, two, three, four, forward side, forward side, keep it up, three, four, you need to keep tension on that band at all times. See how I've got, never got a banana shape on my band? There's always a lot of tension on there. One, two, three, four, forward side, keep it up at shoulder height, one, two, three, four, but don't hunch your shoulders, okay? 10 seconds, forward side, forward side, long necks, two, three, four, we're gonna go to the other side and do those planks, two, three, four, okay? So I'm just gonna move my support, you're gonna start in that side plank, bunch up your band, and you're starting with the front and side, front, and side, don't cheat here. You need that band to be tight. Side, front, and side. Try to look down at the mat once you see the exercise. So it's like a shoulder front raise and then out to the side. Choke up on that band, 24 seconds. Try to keep your hips stable. I know it's hard, front, Side, 15 seconds, you can do it. Side, keep breathing through it. You know the next one's easier. Front, side, four, three, two, one. Okay, so remember how we're gonna come to the side here. Anchor that band. And we're gonna go out, two, three, four, Punch and punch. One, two, three, four. Forward side, forward side. One, two, three, four. Forward side, forward side. Always tension on the band. Forward side, forward side. Here, I want your elbow to the ceiling. Forward side, forward side. 21 seconds. Three, four, forward side forward side, push out of your obliques there. You wanna engage your side body. 10 seconds, two, three, four. Forward side, forward side. Last time, two, three, four, forward side. Finish it, side, nice job. Kneeling on the band, remember, choke it right up and we're gonna do those rows out to the side, okay? Hinge forward and row. So you want to keep your back in your spine and your neck in nice alignment. Bring that elbow up higher than your back. Relax your upper body as much as you can. And as you come up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Blow out on the up and pull. Pull that as much as you can. Pull, pull, 21 seconds. So you can see this first section here is very shoulder and upper back intensive. So we're going to move on to different muscle groups in the next few exercises. Up, up, three, two, one. So you can actually kneel on your band here. Make sure that you've got the right amount to punch forward side, forward side, four rotations. Are you ready? So it's forward, side, forward, side, one, two, three, four. Side, forward, side, one, two, three, four. Forward, side, forward, side, one, two, three, four. Really feeling that shoulder burn, one, two, three, four. I want you to push down through the shoulder, two, three, four, and keep your arm exactly at shoulder height, two, three, four. Forward, side, 22 seconds. Keep going, I know it's tough. Trying to keep the pace up to keep the heart rate up slightly. 14 seconds, 12. One, two, three, four. Forward side, forward side. We're gonna be kneeling on the platform next. One, two, three, four, awesome job. So you don't need your band for this one, I'm just gonna move my support. You're gonna kneel on it and you're going to do a downward dog push up. Angle your hands in and I want your head to the mat and push up, down and push up. Please try to get the top of your head 
all the way to the mat, okay? Try as hard as you can. If you need to slow it down, you can. This is a shoulder push-up. And we've got 27 seconds. Hold your tummy in. Back is strong. Elbows are flaring out here. Down and up. Blow out on the up. Feeling that in the shoulders. 12 seconds. Keep going. Few more. Three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're going to lie with our whole body on there and we're going to grab our band and we're going to do back extensions. Hold your band in front and it's up and pull and down. Up and pull and down. You need to find a position where you're balanced so that you're not going to fall off the support but you're able to still breathe, blowing up, out on the up and pulling out with your arms as you blow out. So this is hitting your lower back and the band is hitting your upper back. Your legs are gonna move slightly, which is just natural because of the position you're in. So squeeze your glutes and try to anchor as much as you can with those hips. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to go side to side. So same sort of thing, but we're going to anchor one arm, come up with that arm, and then towards the back. So it's up, down, up, down. So you're pulling out as you're coming up. Okay, really important that your arm comes out to your side of your body and almost slightly behind. So it's, you're rotating up, squeeze your glutes and anchor as much as possible. Blow up on the out, on the up, blow out on the up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Keep going, 15 seconds. Up as high as you can and really twist. That's what's gonna get into your lower back and even into your obliques. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Come off that safely. And we're just gonna put the band underneath our feet, grab it on either side, choke it up, biceps curls, up and down. Up and release. Up, release. So you're releasing at a very controlled rate. Do not let your band snap down. And you can see my band still has tension even at the very bottom. Okay, so make sure that you are challenging yourself. We only have 21 seconds of this exercise. It's not super hard, like with weights, but you're using a lot of muscle groups by pulling. You're using your forearms a lot as well in this. Nine, eight, Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Now come down and kneel on the band and we want to do some triceps. So you're gonna hinge forward slightly and then bring your elbows up and extend, extend. So it's almost like an extend and pull up. Extend and pull up. You're trying to keep your back quite flat here Pull up, extend and pull up. The top portion of your arm is hardly moving. You are really just moving from the elbow to the hand and you're keeping super, super lots of tension on that band. Up, up, keep going. All the way. 10, nine. Eight, seven, this is the second last exercise. Keep going for three, two, one. And last thing, put it behind your back, bunch it up a lot. And we're gonna do like a chest press. Palms are down, so it's forward. Then the other hand, then come forward. One, two, three, four. Then back out, 
cross it over, back and one, two, three, four. It's back, forward, forward, come back first, then one, two, three, four. You need to choke up if you're not feeling this. This is the last exercise, back first, one, two, three, four. Back forward, push, one, two, three, four. Keep going, nearly done. This wasn't a super tough workout, so you need to keep going right till the last beep. Back first, one, two, three, four, and that is it, you're done. So, if you didn't feel that, because it was just the band and you're used to weights, rewind, do it again, or do one of my other workouts alongside and get a total body challenge. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time.